guys, Jocelyn here with BootCampBeauty.com and today I have a tutorial showing you how to achieve this look, right? This curly, voluminous look. Now this is my go-to look that I love to do when I go out or, or anything like that. So in this video I'm going to be showing you some of my personal tips and some of my favorite products and my favorite tool that I use to create this look. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look, keep on watching. Alright, so first you want to start out by brushing your hair. Right, just using any, any comb that you might have, or any brush. And then you want to spray it with a heat protectant, right, to protect it from your curling wand. So here I'm going to be using one of my favorite um, heat protectants. It's called the Got To Be Guardian Angel. So you just want to spray it all over. And right, then you want to brush it out. And then what I like to do is I like to basically split my hair in half and put it on each side. And then you're going to part your hair from the bottom, because this is where you're going to start curling, the bottom layer. And you can just use any sort of clips to put them up. Okay, so now this bottom layer, you want to split it and then just brush it out one more time to get any of the knots or tangles out. And then here, I'm going to be using my favorite Numi curling wand and it's called the Curl Jam. And this set is, this is my favorite curling wand ever. Um, it comes in three different barrel sizes. It comes in the 19 millimeter. Then this is the 25 millimeter, the one that I'll be using. And then the biggest one is the 32 millimeter. And this is a great purchase. I purchased it on newbie.com and this is what I use every day to, to curl my hair. So here you wanna start out with about maybe two inch pieces and you wanna face the wand down. Okay, and you wanna curl it away from your face. So just like this. And you want to leave it on for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, and then when you're finished, you just want to release it into your hand. And you kind of want to move it in like an up and down motion to kind of let, let it cool off. And once it starts to cool off a little bit, you just put it in the back. All right, so you know you don't recurl any, any of the pieces that you already did. So I'll show you again. And here you want to twist it around the curling wand, right? You don't want to have it like flat, like a ribbon, right? Because then it'll create a different type of curl. So here you want to twist it as you're wrapping it around the curling wand and you want to face it down, just like this. All right, and same thing, release it into your hand and then in like an up and down movement, well, hold it in your hand so that it cools off. And then same thing, put it in the back and repeat. And so here, I'm going to fast forward to the end because basically this is the, you do the same thing throughout your entire head. And then you go and you do the other half and then other layers. So I'm just going to fast forward here. All right, so now we're at the top layer, the last layer that you got. You want to brush it out and then what you want to do is you want to start by parting it wherever you want to part it either if it's down the center or to the side I think for this look I'm gonna go down the side the side part so I usually like to start from like where the high arch of my eyebrow is and then I just pull it or and then I just part it that way so starting about right where the highest arch is and just like that Okay, and then the same thing, this layer, this top layer, you want to curl it away from your, from your face, right, so the opposite way. And you don't want to start so high up, right, you want to start about maybe half an inch down. So just like this. And same thing, kind of twisting and wrapping it around the wand. Okay, twisting it and wrapping it around the wand. 
Also, we'll be spraying our hair with hairspray all at the end, right after we, we finish it, so we can get that hold. And then same thing with this part, all right, curling it away from your face. And starting about half an inch from the strand. All right, so starting right here, like around your bangs area, you can split it in two. And here, you're just gonna hold it you know, horizontally and then just wrap it around. These are gonna be the last two parts. All right, so now you have all your hair curled. All right, you can see it's all curled. Now, I don't, if this look is okay, if you wanna have, keep it just in that really perfect type of curl, then you can leave it just like this, spray it with your favorite hairspray. But here, I kinda wanna give it some volume, I wanna brush out the, um, the curls to give it a little different look. So here, just using your comb, all right? You wanna start by brushing out some of those curls. All right, it's gonna give it like a big, voluminous type of look. All right, so just like that. Then I do, to give it a little more volume up in the crown area, you wanna tease it a little bit. And one of my favorite products that I've been loving right now is the Got To Be Powderful yeah, powerful volumizing styling powder. Now all you gotta do with this is you part your hair. So we'll start with this. We'll start with the right side. So using your comb, we're gonna add just a tiny bit onto near the root of the hair. So just sprinkle just a little bit. A little goes a long way, you'll, you'll see. Okay, then with your hands, you just kind of want to scratch the scalp, right? All right, you can already see how much volume it gave you. So if you want more, you can add, add some more. So just grab another little layer and scratch it. Give it some volume. Okay, and same with the other side. I love this stuff instead of um, back combing, right, and teasing it because that, that ruins your hair and it can cause breakage, right? This is, this stuff is like my new go-to stuff that I love to use, All right? And then a little up on top near the crown area. And you just want to part your hair and same thing. All right, you're going to want to do at least a few, a few layers, right, a few strands. Alright, and then when you're finished, you can obviously you can go back and do some more, add some more of the powder if you want if you want more volume. Alright, I think this is about right for me. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and add your favorite hairspray. So here I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Element. Right, this is I think the extra strong volumizing hairspray. So you want to go ahead and just spray a little bit. Alright, and just like that. So this is the finished look. It gives you lots of volume. Um, and then also with that powder, it, it made it around the crown area and the sides, right? It really added that volume. So alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, if you like this video, please click the like button. Also, don't forget to favorite it, share it with your friends and your family, and also, please subscribe. I do release a video every single Friday. And also head over to bootcampbeauty.com where there you'll get a chance to receive a free beauty tutorial sent directly to your email each week. So alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.